Hello, in the kitchen with Dee again. So you ever watch anything on YouTube, like recipes on YouTube, and you think, geez, they make it look so easy. I wonder if it really is. Is it really? Am I, am I able to do that? Well, that's what we're going to test out today. So I have been following this woman. Um, I don't even know her name. But she has a site called Cooking with Plants, and she has this cheese recipe that I've watched I don't know, 60 times, um, saying it melts, it slices, and so I've been wanting to try it. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to follow this recipe. First it calls for the blender, and then it calls for a pot, and then it, uh, and then it sets in the fridge in moles for an hour. So it's going to be a bit of a choppy video because I'm not going to make you watch all those, all those all those processes. Um, got my ingredients out and ready. I've got plant milk and I've got oil, soaked cashews, agar that's been activated, lemon juice, miso, seasoning, and my ever present because I love it, dill, fresh dill. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put everything in except for the dill because I do want to taste what the base is going to taste like before I start flavoring it. Now, in fairness, I've deviated from her recipe because I don't follow recipes. They're guidelines. They're suggestions. I've never been very good at that. So, um, yeah, I'm going to, oh, and flour. The other thing that we need is flour. So I have some tapioca flour. I'm going to use that. She calls for almond meal. I don't have that, so we're going to experiment because recipes, you know, suggestions. That's it. Okay, so let's throw everything in, shall we? taste cheese when they say it's cheesy so screw it I'm putting in some nooch I mean it's an interesting flavor but is it cheese no I don't know how much I put it Shall we try this again? Hmm. Well, let's just do it. Let's just do it. It's pretty thin, but that's going to change right here. Okay, it's in the pot. Now is when the magic happens. So we bring this to a boil slowly and stir it for like 10 minutes according to the recipe. Here's the thing. I do want to manage expectations. This is not cheese. It's not going to taste like cheddar cheese that you know and love. Um, I find with any, and I say this in almost every video, I find with any vegan food that's trying to be another food, it is better as an ingredient than it is unto its own. I, I'm not sure if that will be the case with this. I think it will be okay on crackers. Um, I'm pretty excited to try it. It's interesting flavors, um, but it's not cheese flavored. Okay, so... Um, if you're looking for something to put on your sandwich, something to put on a cracker, um, this will probably work quite well, and we will test that theory when it's all done. But, um, yeah, just managing expectations. We gave up the dairy, and we're being punished for it. <laughs> I'm trying to find alternatives that will appease my need, my need for snacking. Okay, it's thickening up. My arm's getting tired, <laughs> but it's starting to get there. I have added 
a ton more nooch. Um, probably, probably about a cup because I just, I don't know, I want it to taste cheesier. So that's what I did. Uh, I'm hoping that the flavor actually, the flavors marry together really nicely as it's cooking. Um, we'll see. I haven't tasted it yet, so. I'll just keep stirring, keep going until it looks like it did in the video. Okay, I think I've had enough of this stirring business. If this doesn't work, too bad. We'll try it another time. So, apparently, you have to work quickly when you take it off the heat because it'll start setting pretty much right away. So, so let's do that. I think we're only going to make two out of this, so I'm going to leave that one at that and add the dill in to this one. Get it in, get it in. Give that a stir. I think it's just going to be like a hint of dill. And then pour that. Oh. Now I'm not very good at measuring. So we're going to have a little bit of cheese. A little tiny cheese. A wee Gary. So we'll have the one that is the original flavor, although again not quite the original flavor because I don't stick to recipes, that's not my thing, um, but one that has the nutritional yeast in it and then these ones have dill. So actually, let's even that out a bit. So it'll be interesting to see how this sets in the fridge. They're going to sit in the fridge for about an hour. That's pretty good actually. The flavor is totally different than it was when it first came out of the out of the blender. I actually hope this works. Here we go. Moment of truth. Oh, it's still warm. Well, that didn't work. No, it's not warm. It's cold. Maybe because I added more of the nutritional yeast. I don't know. I wanted it to be sliceable. It just means I'll have to do it again. Only this time maybe stick to the recipe. Wish me luck. Nope. I don't like that at all. Nope. Yeah, let's try it with dill.
Well, it's definitely better with dill. Still absolutely not cheese. Clearly the woman that makes this has been vegan for a very long time. If she thinks this tastes like cheese, it tastes nothing like cheese. Nothing. That's really disappointing. Really disappointing. It makes me sad because I really, really, really wanted this to work. It's... I can't even... I, I can't even, I can't even, I don't like it at all. Um, I don't know if it's the miso or the stock or, or what, but it's, there's way too much flavor to it. Way too much flavor. And pepper, definitely too much pepper. I think the texture is, um, the reason it's not sliceable is because I added so much, um, nooch to it, pretty sure. So it didn't have a chance to set because it really offset the, the agar and, well, there we go. That's a big old no thank you. Um, I'll probably get Logan to give it a try and if he likes it, he can have it. Um. But yeah, that's that's not for me. Okay, well that was fun, and you know, experiments—they don't always work, and that's okay. It's all about trying new things and adventuring, and I definitely feel like I adventured. So, you know, there's that. That part's a success, and that part I'm happy with. Um, that's it. That's all. Hope you have a fantastic fantastic rest of your day wishing you peace love harmony namaste and all that good stuff like subscribe all that youtube crap and uh i'm gonna go take some neocitron and go to bed because i am done bye